Inventor719 here, and in today's video, we are going to be making a turbocharged push lawnmower. So here's what we have today. This is a Tukum Sith, uh, 3.5 horsepower, 148cc lawnmower. These here are the original twin turbos off of a 1993 to 98 twin turbo Toyota Supra off of a 2JZ motor. We also have the intake, exhaust manifold, oil drain and feed lines off of that motor and a couple tools. So essentially this is what we have to work with as well as everything else in the garage and we're going to try and make this lawnmower make at least one maybe even a couple pounds of boost and to monitor that I've got a pretty darn simple PSI gauge and I also have one that's a little more precise on this bicycle pump that we might be able to hook up as well so the style of today's video is going to be like a vlog build because I haven't tried this before obviously um, off camera so we're gonna be learning together it may or may not work so please stay tuned for the final result to try and make it as quick as possible but I'm also gonna be showing you guys the whole thought process which may be tedious so please stick around and watch the whole video and hopefully the end result is worth it. Alright, so first things first, this is a stock twin turbo. So what I've went ahead and done is separated one of these turbos. So there it is, off of there. Essentially, if you're not a car person, all that happens is this is the exhaust in. What happens is exhaust pressure goes in there and then around this little snail shaped object, spinning a wheel which you might be able to see. There is a wheel that's like a little fan blade in there. And then that is connected with a center shaft to the front fan blade where air gets sucked in here, spun around, and then compressed and shot out of this little hole here. So the first mission is figuring out how to attach this exhaust to the exhaust on the lawnmower. So what I've done is removed the stock muffler on this lawnmower. There it is right there. I'm going to go ahead and put that aside. And this is what we have to work with. So what I've done is I've went, rummaged around my garage and managed to find this weird looking piece of plumbing. And we're going to go ahead and separate it and see if any of these parts are usable. So here's essentially what I've got. I have this NPT fitting going to a bigger pipe fitting of some sort and I don't know if you can see this but it is almost a perfect fit in my stock lawnmower's exhaust and this being steel and this being cast aluminum I feel like when it's time I can almost self tap that in there as you can see it's already staying then this larger side here um, when comparing it to my stock turbocharger is pretty similar so I just have to figure out a way now to make it so this seals, not perfectly I'll admit, but relatively well with that turbocharger. So what I'm decided to do is use this stock fitting. As you can see, it is already a little bit egg shaped. What I've been doing is crushing it in this vise. So right now, here's the fitment on it. Oval side of the correct way. It's getting pretty close. So I'm gonna squish it a little more here. Come take a look. So make sure I'm squishing it the same way, just like that. Squish it a little bit. And then, see if that's enough, to jam it in there. There she goes. I'm going to tap them with a hammer so that it stays, and then use some exhaust sealant to seal her up. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and make sure that it is actually possible to use our custom exhaust manifold. The hardest part is going to be turning it on because I don't have that much space to thread, but we're gonna try anyway. So I'm gonna start her probably like this, then push and thread and see what happens. Just cross thread it in there. All right, turbo's mounted. <laughs> Turbo is mounted on the lawnmower. It's not perfect, I may do a bit more tightening off camera and make a support bracket. As you can see, there's about a quarter inch to a half inch right there. 
But in theory, if we turn on the lawnmower, it will spin the turbo and compressed air should come out there. All right. So um, the next step, as I just mentioned, is to connect the turbo compressor air outlet into the stock lawnmower air intake to provide the boost. So here's the intake right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and thread it off. It was kind of just placed on there. So there's your filter. We don't need that anymore. So here is the hole we have to deal with. There's a little red thing sticking out that I don't know what it is. So we're just going to leave it as is. So next up, this here is the oil feed and drain port for these stock CT26 turbochargers. But because our lawnmower doesn't have any high pressure oil ports on it, what we're going to do is fill it up and then pretty much block it off essentially. So off of the stock oil feed drain line setup I have this which I cut off with a saw. As you can see it bolts on just like that. And then there is your oil feed, there is your oil drain. So over here I've got this really cool plumbing type tape that sticks to itself. So I'm going to rip off a section of that and wrap it around the oil drain port and then we're going to go ahead and fill this with oil and cap it off. So using the syringe we put some oil in the oil inlet and then blocked off both the inlet and the outlet. We did spill quite a bit so it might smoke but let's finish up the charge piping so we can fire it up. Alright so for the intercooler or charge piping what we're going to use is this piece of conduit here as it loosely fits inside the turbocharger and um, will probably work for the air intake as well. So here is the final product. The turbocharged lawnmower is completed. So a quick run around in case you skip to the very end of the video. What we have on this side here, if you want to take a look, is our exhaust manifold. It's a three quarter inch piece of piping around there going straight into the turbocharger. I've added some gasket sealer to hopefully provide maximal pressure from this small 148cc motor. And then blocked off the oil ports. Um, tried to put a bit of oil in there, but most of it looks like it leaked out on my tire here. Then for the charge piping, we have this piece of conduit, which won't work for too long because it will probably melt. But it looks pretty darn airtight to me, so hopefully it will work in the midterm. Mid this here is the internal wastegate, which for those of you who aren't into cars, basically monitors how much air pressure the turbo sends in before venting the pressure out into the air basically to put it in layman's terms. Um, as you can see there's no vacuum lines or air lines hooked up to it so we're going to be running unlimited boost but because the engine's so small I think that's a safe thing to do because it might not even make any boost at all we're about to find out. Exhaust routed to the ground I, I am aware of that it is fine. No intake because it's a lawnmower of course so anyway we're all topped up on gas I'm going to hit the primer even though I don't know if it's going to do anything anyway. I could adjust the carburetor for more fuel but again I doubt we're going to be pushing more than one maybe two PSI. There's no blow off valve which again for people who aren't into cars usually goes on the charge piping to vent excessive pressure when the throttle plate closes. So hopefully if we do make boost we might even hear a bit of turbo surging which would be absolutely hilarious. So uh, let's try and fire it up. Alright, so we're about to fire it up. Before we do, I want to let you guys know that I'm basically this is a fun project. It's obviously not of any purpose. I'm not expecting it to be super loud or make a lot of boost or anything. It's just more of a fun project. So no slamming me in the comments. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and fire it up. Here we go. So starting take two, quick prime. All right, here we go. No. No, that's it. All right, so it did run for about a second, but not very long. Main reason being probably lack of exhaust slash major exhaust leak because of my type of flange setup. But the goal of this video was to make it work and 
although we didn't build any boost, I must admit we did make the turbocharger spin and it was mounted for a few seconds there. So I'm still gonna upload it even though it was a bit of a failure because maybe you guys will enjoy watching it. So as always, thanks for watching. And if you like it, please subscribe. Uh, let me know if you want to see more in the future. I can probably upgrade it. And uh, yes, thanks for watching. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe.